Hi, in this video I'm gonna explain you how I usually do the subnetting and I will use the Packetracer Skills Integration Challenge 17.8.2. So first thing, okay, I see the dressing table and then to make the things easier I copy the table and I paste it in the in Excel. Okay. After that I read the background and the scenario. I read the instructions and for example in these instructions which are about the IPv4 addressing they say that we are using the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 to create subnets that meet the host requirements okay and then we have staff sales IT and guest for staff uh, 100 hosts sales 50 hosts IT 25 hosts and then guests 25 hosts again so in another page, I write the requirements. A total of 200 guests, 200 users. After that, I start writing this table. And I always write this table because it, it helped me it helps me a lot to do the subnetting. So I start writing the masks. Okay, for the last octet that we are going to use because this is this is the network that we are going to use. So I start writing slash 32, 31, 30, 29 and so on till slash 24 because it's the last possibility for the mask. Okay, because we are using slash we are we are using a network that is slash 24 after that i start writing the power of the bits okay so for zero position it's 2 power 0 and then 2 power of 1 and then 2 power of 2 and so on till the last value of the third octet okay after that I write these values because they help me a lot to quickly know the exact the exact value of the mask for the first position is 128 and then 128 plus 64 192 and then 224 and so on till we get the 255 okay okay after this table I order the users from the higher the higher need to the lower need and you you need to do this always otherwise if you start subnetting for for example for the guests 25 euro users you'll see that you'll do the subnetting wrong okay so the first thing is you do it in order from the bigger to the lower okay and then it's just start subnetting okay staff for staff we need uh, 100 users okay for slash 32 and 31 it's impossible we the, our first possibility is for slash 30 why because we have four possibilities but as you you know the possibilities for the users they are measured for this formula to elevate to the two power the number of bits minus two why it's minus two because we have to consider we have to know that the possibility of using all bits 0 and all bits 1 is not possible. Why? Because all bits 0 identifies the network or the subnetwork and all bits to 1 identify the broadcast. Okay? So, for this position we have the possibility of two users and for a slash 29 we have possibility of six users 
14 users and so on so for the staff we only get put, can put all these users in a slash 25 which we have usable 126 users okay so what I do next is I write the range okay it goes from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. okay staff 100 users okay 100 users range this network goes from dot zero okay to dot 127 okay but the usable possibilities start from dot one to dot 126 why because this one represents the network and this one it's used for broadcast okay and then it's this one which is a slash 25 and the mask will be 255.255.128 okay after that we start doing the subnet for the next need of users which is sales 50 users okay for the 50 users we will start in the next subnet which is the dot 128 okay and for 20 users let's see where we can put the 20 users not here not here not here not here 32 okay here we have the possibility of 30 users no we need more we need at least uh, 50 users okay will be in this position because in this position we have 62 user possibilities okay so we start the subnetting it will be the one zero one 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 okay 50 users we start the network in the next one which is dot 128 and it will be stopped here okay in the dot 191 okay because it's the sum it's the previous value to 192 basically it's the sum of this value and these values this is our range our usable our our usable range will be from dot 129 to dot 190 and then the mask okay we, we come here will we will use a slash 26 and it will be a dot 19 it, it will be a dot 192 okay and then we do the same now for the 25 users for IT okay 25 users where can we put 25 users okay not here yes here we can put here 25 users because we have 30 usable addresses okay so we start in the dot uh, 192 to dot 223 okay but the usable will be only these two and then we can write the mask and as you can see now with this table it's easier for us to put the slash to write the mask okay and then we do the same for the last users for guests okay and that's how I do the subnetting okay after the subnetting I change to the page of the addressing table and I start I start writing the IP addresses that I need usually and it's a good practice you always put the first usable address to the to the ports of the router which, 
they will be probably default gateways so I put first usable addresses through the router the second usable addresses to the VLANs and the last usable addresses for the hosts okay and that's that's how I do it